Sean Fleming led Canada to its first ever point at a FIFA U17 World Cup in 2011. But with an entirely new group of players, he has a brand new challenge on his hands. Canada will head to the CONCACAF U17 Championship in April, and the Canadian coach is keen to build on the success of the team's last World Cup cycle. As you say, it's a brand new cycle, and really that, that, that happened in the past. It was a great experience, uh, but uh, you know, I, I think it gives you more uh, qualities to know about the opponent, to know uh, how, how to deal with those situations. I mean, making it to a CONCACAF final and taking the U.S. to extra time, I think these kids see those results and say and start to believe, because sometimes a little bit they come in and they uh, and they don't believe uh, maybe as much as they should, and they, they definitely should uh, feel confident. Uh, there, there is some ability in here. Do we need to get better? Of course, but uh, I think that uh, having those experiences in the past will definitely help. Canada enjoyed a hard-working camp in Florida before departing for a pair of friendlies in Panama on November 21st. And Fleming was impressed with the commitment his young squad displayed throughout the sessions. It's, it's been very good. Again, the, the players they give great credit, uh, they have good attitude and uh, they, they give all every time uh, during the sessions. Um, again, it's building blocks. Uh, things are better uh, than in Spain and the little things, little qualities. And again, some of the new players have uh, brought in a different dimension to the group, which is going to give good competition for spots, which is also always healthy for, for the team. For the young players who are looking to make their name on the world stage, it's perhaps no surprise that getting to represent Canada is a thrill in itself. This is the greatest honor you know you could ever ask for as a as a soccer player, at, at, especially at the youth level. I mean, you, you get the opportunity to represent your country. There's nothing better. Um, and then every time you go, you just you know, you're you're just playing the sport you love, and you get to play at the highest level possible with you know, representing your nation. So it's a huge honor, a huge privilege. And you know, every time you step on the field, every time you wear the badge in your chest, you know, wherever you are, it's just a great honor, and you just got to represent your country as best you can. De représenter le Canada, ben, c'est quelque chose de grand parce que c'est quand même une grande nation. S'il y a beaucoup de joueurs, puis être, part, être faire partie d'un groupe de 22 joueurs qui va, qui va se, pour, pour venir à ce camp-ci, c'est quelque chose de quand même assez grand. Donc je suis quand même fier, fier de, 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 de mon exploit. Puis je, je suis content de représenter le Canada. Là. Ah, I'm, I'm honored. You know, it's again. I like to play for my country and you know my dad's from Canada so I just like to play for Canada and it's nice. It's honored to play for Canada, yeah. Fleming's U17 side will have the chance to qualify for a second straight World Cup when they return to Panama for qualifying in April of next year. Canada will be one of 12 CONCACAF nations fighting for four spots at the 2013 edition of the U17 World Cup. The tournament takes place next October in the United Arab Emirates.